Hey, Dina here. Um, this is just something I thought I'd try doing. I'm kind of in lieu of, of an art stream because I would like to do streaming. I just don't really have the software for it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to do streaming, I guess. But um, I thought you guys, um, some of you might get a kick out of seeing my art techniques and I thought I could, you know, at least record myself doing it and then put it on YouTube. Maybe someday I'll, you know, upgrade to doing a stream. But, um, basically here's what I'm starting with. Yeah, I know. I know not everyone watching this loves ponies, but you know what? No one's forcing you to watch. Feel free to click off anytime. Um, yeah, it's James Sunderland as a pony. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just, I'm going to color this. Um, let me go ahead and get the music started. Got some mood music already. So, um, yeah, basically I'm going to color this and and I guess that's all I have to say as far as an intro goes. Um, I got this image of James, which, and volume's a little low, uh, a little high, rather. Oops. Um, I've got this image of James I'm just sort of using as a kind of a guide. Um, this is a drawing I did for Guy Sehe uh, last year, I think. And um, I liked the colors. I liked how the colors turned out, so I thought I'd sort of use it as a guide. I I'll do that sometimes. I'll use um, an old drawing as a guide if I really liked the colors on it and I'm drawing something similar. Um, yeah, just one of the things I do. So... I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is a little weird for me because I've, I I turned the, my um, resolution of my monitor way, way, way down. And, and uh, I couldn't find the right proportion so the image looks a little bit stretched out to me. Once I finish recording this video and I render it and everything, I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, you know, try to make it look the way it's supposed to look, but it looks a little weird to me. But anyway, so um, I basically start with, um, I put each color on its own layer, and um, this is going to be his coat. I guess I'll start with his coat. I'm actually not 100% sure what color I want his coat to be, but I have an idea what I want to go with, so... Um, I'm sorry if stuff I say is, is a little bit disjointed. <laughs> it's my first time trying to do something like this. I'm gonna grab this image of... I think I want to try making his coat kind of a pale yellow, and I'm gonna go with... Um, where'd it go? Well, I want to let me open it. Okay. So, uh, it's a new version of Photoshop. I'm not really used to it. I'm gonna go with um, the color of Fluttershy's coat, and if I don't like it, I'll just change it later. I'm just gonna grab that color. Oh yeah, sad, sad James Pony is sad. Um, Yeah, I don't know what to really say about this, uh, this part. It might be a little bit tedious and boring, but this is how I do it. Um, I, in fact, let me start over. Um, I select... I start with, um... Solid colors. And the way I... Uh, do that is that I just select the area with a polygonal uh, lasso. Why the polygonal lasso? Um, I think it's because the freehand one just gives me too much control and I'd have a hard time keeping it inside the lines. Also, I, I realize the lines are uh, some of the 
line work is a little bit sloppy. I'm going to go and clean that up later. Just sometimes, I mean, ideally I should probably clean up all the line work before I start coloring, but sometimes I'm just a little too anxious to get to the coloring phase. So, that's my favorite phase. Uh, whoops. Yeah, basically what I do is I go in and I lay down all of the solid colors and then I go through and, and add shading and highlights. As for why I'm making James's coat yellow, I don't think I said this a few minutes ago. <laughs> Um, white would seem like a little bit of a cop-out, because that seems like the most obvious color to go with. Because when you're making a, a pony version of a human character, it, I imagine it's a little bit weird trying to pick a color. Whoops, I messed up. Trying to pick a... No, I didn't. What am I doing? Because <laughs> uh, uh, we're so used to seeing humans with, you know, a certain... You know, there's only so much variation in human skin tone, whereas ponies have very colorful coats. So... As I said, white seems to be the most obvious, and I didn't want to go that route. And also, I think I might do... Um, Eddie and Maria at some point, and I can't make them all white. And I figured Maria would look best white for some reason. I guess I just thought it would go well with the pink and the black and everything, so... And for some reason, and another color that's a possibility is gray, but for some reason I just thought that worked better for Eddie. And that just kind of left yellow for James because his, his hair is yellow, so. Then again, um, Eddie's hair would be yellow too, so I don't know. I, I don't know why I picked yellow, to be honest. It just seemed like it might work. Of course, I could end up being wrong. We'll see. This right here on the side of the eye, this is a guideline that I'm going to go back and erase later. Um, My Little Pony, um, <clears throat> Friendship is Magic is a very, like... They use very modern methods for the animation. It's all done in Flash, and a lot of times things are not, things are not always outlined. And a lot of times their eyes are only like partially outlined or... Some of them possibly even not at all. So let's see, did I select that well? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm always so anxious to get to the flood fill because the s selecting part is always so tedious. Here we go. And, of course, I changed this to multiply. That might work. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not totally sold on it. Maybe I'll make him kind of a cream color. I don't know. But I'm, I'm starting with yellow. I can always go back and change it if I don't like it. Um, it's weird putting clothes on a pony because I didn't want to... They don't, they don't really tend to wear clothes very often on the show. But obviously, you know, James has to wear his green, his green jacket. That's just part of who he is. And uh, I ended up... It's almost like, um... What do they call those coats? That they're short and then they have the long tails in the back. It's almost like that because I wanted his flank to be uncovered. Because he is going to have a cutie mark. I... It's it's already been drawn, but it's hidden because I don't want you to see what it's going to be yet. Because it's going to be appropriate, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking this is maybe too yellow, but I'm going to leave it alone for now and um, 
Now see here it looks fine. Up here it looks too dark to me, but I'm <laughs> using the exact same color everywhere, so I guess it's my monitor playing tricks on me. No, oh, wait, wait, forgot the ear almost. See, at least at least when I'm doing something simplistic like a pony, it, this stage doesn't take too terribly long. It's when I'm doing something like one of my cyber cat characters, it can it can really be tedious. And uh, there's lots of layers and lots of little little odds and ends that need to be selected and flood filled and it's a big pain in the butt. Oops. The more stuff I select, the easier it becomes because I can sort of go around the other things. I'll that'll make more sense in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I like this one. It's one of those definitive Silent Hill tunes. Used it a lot in the movie, unfortunately. Uh, anyway. Okay, so, um, what's next? You know what, I, I guess I'll do the hair next. Do I want it to be as colorless as it is here? Why not? In fact, um... I'm trying to think of, um... Yeah, James's hair is, uh... It's very blonde, but it's also kind of darker in some areas. It's a very, very natural looking color. I'm trying to decide which one I should start with here. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up putting a lot of tones in his hair like I did with this other one, so what the hell? Make a new layer. Name it hair. <laughs> you can probably see where I'm going with this. There may be- I may go long periods without talking if I get to a point where I'm really, um, focusing. <laughs> but that's- that's what the music's for. I picked the, um, for background music, I picked the Silent Hill uh, 2 official soundtrack rather than the complete rip, because the complete rip just has, like, literally everything, like, down to sound effects and shit. I'm like, eh, don't think I'll go with that one, I'll just go with the soundtrack, thank you very much. Okay, now, see, uh, let me, let me point out something I did. Now... When going around the outside, I, you know, stayed within the line and everything, but when going over the area that was next to the coat, I went over it. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm hitting Control alt and I'm going to click on the coat layer, and it's going to deselect everything that was selected that covers the coat part, if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, yeah, this is how I like to do it. Um, makes it a little easier, and like I said, the more the more coloring I whoa that looks weird. <laughs> the more coloring I've done, the easier it becomes later on. Yeah, his hair color is way too close to his coat color. I think I think I'm actually even gonna go ahead and. Hmm. 
Let's go with uh, saturation. Turn the lightness up a little and maybe even change the hue slightly. Whoa, not that much. I was thinking of giving a little, making it more of a cream color. There we go, I think that's better. And the shaded areas will look, you know, a lot more yellow and darker, so I think that'll work out. Hopefully. Control S. <laughs> What's next? Um, I guess I'll do his eyes. And I'll do the whites of the eyes first. Yep, it's on its own layer. I, I, everything is on its own layer. That's just how I do it. Mary? <laughs> no, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. Yeah, I've played Silent Hill 2 a couple times. What of it? Let's see, there's no white over there. Yeah, I kind of messed up here. I was forgetting that I um, hadn't done the iris and pupil yet. on the coat and there we go okay I'll change that to multiply I know it seems pointless to <laughs> um, oops. oh there we go I was clicking on the wrong thingy um, what was I saying Oh, I know it seems pointless to... There we go. Color something white that's going to be set to multiply and therefore it becomes invisible, but I'm just sort of making a placeholder for where the, the shading and such is going to be. And now I can go back and... Um... This will look good. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that line because I don't need it anymore. Once I once I draw the eye, what? Once I draw the eye, I don't really need it anymore. And actually, I need to draw the the, the iris and pupil here before I. And I know the eye kind of disappears in his very pale coat, but um, once I add shading, it'll it'll work itself out. Okay, um, let's see. Okay. Iris. Once again, yep, own layer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually staying away from bright colors, even though this is a pony. <laughs> he may be a cartoon pony, but he's still James, so... Gotta go with the pale... I'm gonna skip this track. Gotta go with the pale colors. Oh, I don't have to. It's the Heaven's Night theme. I'm going to turn this back down a tiny bit. And I really don't have to painstakingly outline that at all because because it's, it's completely surrounded by parts that have already been colored. So, control alt, and I'm gonna click on coat, eye whites, and hair. And there we go. And just flood fill it. Now I should have uh, selected both before flood filling. That's usually how I prefer to do it, but oh well. There we go. And what I'm probably going to do is, um, I, a lot of times with these, when I'm doing these ponies, their eyes are so big that 
it's kind of easy to tell when I mess up and I don't make the eye, the pupil a perfect um, oval. So sometimes I will go back and redraw it literally as, as, a, as, an ellip, as an ellipsis in Photoshop and it just, it looks a little neater. Um, <clears throat> partly because people tend to notice the eyes so so I like to kind of perfect it <clears throat> I didn't do a very good scanning job on this drawing I'm gonna have to tweak that a little bit um, I've, this is a new version of Photoshop which I think I said earlier and um, I haven't it, it behaves totally differently with my scanner than my old version of Photoshop did so mm. I was having a little trouble scanning with it. Let's see how we're how we're doing. Now, clearly his head's done. Oh yeah, I need to delete that line. But uh, yep, just his well, his clothing in general. His next. Actually, not sure exactly what part of the game this song is from. Why it asks me that? <laughs> I wonder if I should have left that there. Let's see. Eh, clearly I meant to delete it because I left a little break there, and I think if I don't, it'll look weird. So there we go. <laughs> Kind of stuck with having it that way. Okay. Okay, I'll start with the clothes now. There's a weird kind of method to the um, the order I put the layers in, and it's silly, but. I do it in the order of, like, stuff that's in the back is the bottom layers, and as I move towards the front, I build layers on top of that. So, like, the shirt layer will be under the jacket layer, even though there's no real need to do it that way. I guess I just feel like there needs to be some kind of logic to the... To the order the layers are in. Oh. And I may just end up leaving this black, but... Go ahead and treat it as if... Okay. Gray shirt. James's gray shirt has a really kind of like real specific interesting color I used there. Has a real specific like texture to it. I don't know if I'm going to bother doing that with this drawing or not. There. Obviously for now I'm just just laying down the flat colors all bit. Damn it. I don't like that about this version of Photoshop. <laughs> Stop! Stop trying to merge the freaking things. Um. I think I was about to say something, I forgot what it was. Oh well. song always makes me think of Pyramid Head because uh, I used it in my um, my Silent Hill 2 Game Den episode. I used it when I, during the point when I talked about Pyramid Head in the uh, little intro video. Thought it sounded 
very badass. <laughs> very, really kind of sticks out from other songs on this soundtrack. I just thought it uh, worked well for Pyramid Head. I think it's actually uh, an ending song, but I forget which ending it goes with. It like it plays during the credits. Someone told me which one, but I don't remember now. Not an ending I've gotten very many times, obviously, otherwise I would remember. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, you know what I forgot? I did his hair. I forgot about his little tail. <laughs> Let me go back and fix that real quick. I'm actually using my mouse for this because it's actually a lot more comfortable than trying to do this with the pen. I, I switch to the pen once I get to the um, once I get to the shading aspect, but for just laying down these flat colors, I can I can totally just do it with a mouse. No reason not to. And um, I actually, I don't know if it's just that I'm not used to using the mouse or what or the the pen tablet tablet pen. <laughs> Or what, but I just, um, it's kind of, un I find it kind of uncomfortable. I think maybe I grip it a little too hard. I use, put a lot of pressure when I'm using it for some reason, because my hand can really cramp up when using that thing. So, I try to use the mouse whenever I can. Okay, see the jacket would go in front of the shirt. <laughs> So, um, one thing I forgot to mention in the in the my little intro where I was setting this up, um, the reason I didn't have, the reason I wasn't able to show you uh, me actually do doing the original drawing for this is because um, you can probably tell by how it looks close up, but um, I can't. I'm not very good at um, inking, and I, I don't really do digital inking. My inking is all. Um, traditional. Um, I draw on pencil and I ink with, with pens. And, um, I just, I don't have an easy way to show me doing that. I would have to set up a camera behind my, over my shoulder or something, and, um, honestly right now I don't have my drawing table even set up, so there's, there's just no, I mean, when I draw, I, I usually sit at my computer desk or just whenever, wherever. Sometimes I'm just sitting on a couch with a drawing pad in my lap, and, there's no really good way to um, demonstrate my traditional method of drawing, so uh, maybe someday I'll do that, but right now, once I, <laughs> after we move and I have a place to uh, set up a drawing table, I just might do that, but for right now I can pretty much only show you my coloring, because my drawing and inking are all traditional. I did do a drawing recently where I inked it in Photoshop. I, I did draw it in pencil originally, but um, whoops. But I inked it in Photoshop. It was a um, drawing I did of Grimlock from Transformers. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. I don't like how that looks. Um, but um, yeah, he was like 
about 90% uh, straight lines. And I thought, well, why should I f actually ink this thing the traditional way and risk screwing it up when I could just take it into Photoshop and make the lines all crisp and straight and perfect? So, so I did it that way. There were a few curved lines, and I ended up freehanding those with the pen, but and that took a little trial and error. But yeah, for the most part, I was able to do it all in straight lines. And uh, end result was really nice, I think. It's the music for when uh, Pyramid Head killed Maria the first time. Poor James. <laughs> Where did I mess up? I messed up. Oh, there it is, I think. I think that's the spot. Got a little too close to the edge and I wasn't sure. I use fairly thick lines when I ink, and this is partly why it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to <laughs> color within the lines, even when I was uh, even when I was doing when I was back when I was doing traditional coloring. It was just so much easier when the lines were thicker. That's not the only reason. I, I think having fairly thick lines in some areas gives it character. Let's see. Coat, black shirt, gray shirt. Uh, oh, hair. Let's see how James's coat looks. Or, well, jacket, I mean. <laughs> Already did the coat, now we're doing the jacket. Yeah. Seems legit. Okay, I think the colors are working out here pretty well. Oh, stretching. <laughs> uh, it's late. It's almost midnight. I went to work today. This, These are how Fridays are for me. I go to work and I just have a normal like eight to, you know, um, eight to five job and um, gotta drink some water. I insist on staying up late on Friday and it's a little difficult. <laughs> Sometimes I get the help of a soda or coffee or something. In fact, that usually by about midnight I'm about to drop and then I drink either soda or coffee, something with caffeine in it, and that helps me stay up for two more hours and I go to bed at 2 a.m. That's, that's actually my bedtime on the weekends is 2 a.m. More or less on the dot. <laughs> now what else was I going to do? Um, oh, I need to open up a picture of James and he's got this thing over here and I don't recall exactly what the, I know it's blue and white but I can't remember how the colors are exactly okay I grabbed yet another image of James off the internet <laughs> this is how I do it I mean if I'm doing fan art it's always really good to have um, reference images and um, just right right there in Photoshop in fact I'll, I'll so half the time I won't even save the images on my computer anywhere. I'll, I'll uh, grab them off the internet and I'll copy the image, paste it into a new document or a new, you know, file in Photoshop. I won't save it or anything. I'll just keep it open and then once I'm done with drawing, I close it because I don't need it anymore. But um, I just find that's really helpful and it's, you know, I don't always grab colors off of it, but sometimes I just have it there so I can look at it. That doesn't look right. What the hell? I think I'm just gonna free freehand these freaking colors. I'm pretty sure that's just meant to be red. It's just in shadow. I'll go ahead and make it kind of dark. And same thing with this. It's just it's just freaking blue. <laughs> that's probably about the color it's supposed to be right there. Or oops, I should not have minimized. go. 
I'm gonna have a new layer. It seems kind of silly, but have a new layer called jacket details. Boy, it was really hard drawing him as a pony and trying to trying to get some of these details in there because if you look at him here, you know, there's plenty of room on his chest for this stuff, but you know, as a pony, he has such a big head and the and his collar is so far to the sides that it's just it was hard fitting this stuff in. And technically, I put it on the sleeves and it shouldn't be on the sleeves. It should be on the chest, but there's nothing on, no room on his chest cuz its legs are totally in the front. Let's see, the bottom part is red. Okay, I think I see how this is going to go. And then the one to the right is blue and that would be white. Okay. I probably will add shading to this later, so I'm going to go ahead and color it white. There we go. I think I know how to color the American flag. <laughs> At least, is that an American flag? <laughs> I guess it is. Screw it. Don't think I need that image of James anymore. Well, I'll uh, keep it just in case. Go ahead. And... another ending theme. I forget which one this one goes with too, but I know I've gotten this one. <laughs> Let me go ahead and match these colors. a lot of people like to theorize that James was in the military due to this jacket he wears, but I don't know that this jacket is necessarily military. It, it's military style. Oh, just saying. I know that flag is very half-assed, but you have to realize how small it is in the actual drawing. Plus, he's a pony. He doesn't know any better. There. Use the same shades of blue and red that I used in the other side, just to kind of pull everything together.
There, I think he's coming along. Okay, now that the, uh... Now that the base colors are done, I think I'm going to take a break, leave it at this for a while, and I'll tackle the shading sometime soon. And I will just continue this when I do that.